Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a painting app from scratch. So this is a really easy scratch tutorial and it's really beginner friendly. So this is the preview of our painting app. So these are the color palettes where you can choose your colors and this is the erase button and from here you can change your paint size and this is the color which displays the color you have chosen so if i click red it would display the color as red and if you pick blue our pen color would be blue and from this you could change your pen size And if you click on the erase button, you could erase everything. So let's get started. So I have opened a new blank scratch project. So the first thing you need to do is click on this add extension button and choose your pen extension. And then we need to delete the cut sprite and Click on paint and sprite and leave it as blank and rename the sprite to pen. So now when we flat click rubber forever we need to go to our mouse pointer. Grab a if else statement. So if mouse down, then we need to set our pen down. And else we need to set our pen up. And on the beginning, when we fact click, we need to erase all. So okay, now let's just the script. So now you can see. If our mouse is down, you could draw. So now, go to variables and delete this my variable. And then, let's make a new variable called size. And tick for all sprites and then click OK. And then we need to go for pen and set our pen size to go for operators and grab a divide block to size divide by 5. And then you go to this size right click and click on slider and now you could adjust your size of your pen so now we need to choose our colors so for that let's paint a new sprite so now click on circle and hold your shift and it will draw a perfect circle. And then select this and we don't need outline. So and then we'll fill this with red. So you can choose your custom colors, so I'll choose red. Now place it the place you want. And then when we flat clicked forever, we need to go to the X and Y position. 
and then grab an if else statement and if touching mouse pointer then we need to set our brightness effect to 5 else we need to set our brightness effect to 0 so now you can see when the mouse point is touching this it will make a brightness effect so change your brightness effect to 25 and then it will give a more brightness effect so now we need to go to variables and make a new variable called color for all sprites and then we need to place the color in top of the size and then and then when this sprite is clicked then we need to set our color to red so I'll type all in uppercase and then rename your sprite as red. So now duplicate this sprite and name it as blue and go for costumes and select and then change it to blue. And I'll place it over here and then you will get this Y position of your sprite so I'll change the Y position and keep the X position to the same as the red one so it would be straight and then when this sprite is clicked we need to set our color to blue so now you can see when we click it would switch to blue then duplicate this name it to yellow go for costume select and select yellow and then copy the white position and set color to yellow duplicate name it as green go for costumes change the color to green then change your Y position and then when this part is clicked set color to green and duplicate it again and then go for costume select and I'll select to black Then change the white position and set color to black. So now you can see our color palette works. So we switch the color. And when you test it on your pen, you can see your pen won't switch color. So that's because we didn't code the color switching yet. So click on pen and grab the if statement. So if 
our color is equal to red then we need to set our pen color so you will see this small icon you select color tool and then select the red and then duplicate this and if our color equals blue select and set pen color to blue and then duplicate these two blocks and if color equals yellow we need to set pen color to yellow if color equals green set pen color to green duplicate so you could add more colors for now I just use these five colors set color to black so now if you test your project you will see our color switching works and now on the top by default we need to set color to black so it sets our color default by black So now let's code the erase button. So for that we need to paint a sprite and click on this rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle and I'll fill it with then click on the text tool and let's type erase select and I'll set to white because it's visible then place my button over here so you can reduce the size of your button set my size to 80 and when in fact clicked forever we need to go to X and Y position of the erase button and grab the if the else statement so if touching mouse pointer we need to set our brightness effect to 25 else set our brightness effect to 0 And when this sprite is clicked, then we need to erase all. And now when you click on erase, it will erase everything on the screen. Now you can see our painting app works. You could choose the color you want. And change your pen size. And erase. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe and share. And see you with another awesome scratch tutorial.